welcome to Barney's Bookstore. We'd like to invite you to take a few moments to share in the rich history of a store that's become a tradition to generations of Kansas State students. Let's look back at the beginnings and development of Barney's Bookstore. It's been over 100 years since Joseph Barney, nicknamed Guy, and his uncle John Swingle decided to go into the bookstore business. The Varney and Swingle Bookstore opened in October of 1890 on Points Avenue in downtown Manhattan, Kansas. It wasn't long before Guy bought out his uncle's share of the growing business and moved it to 319 Points. Guy Varney's bookstore specialized in books, gift items, wallpaper, and custom-made picture frames. Around the turn of the century, Kansas State Agricultural College students bought their textbooks from under a stairway on campus, then made the long walk downtown on dusty or muddy pathways to purchase their school supplies. These inconveniences were soon to change. Guy Varney purchased land on the corner of campus and built the first college bookstore here in 1908. Half of the store was constructed as a bookstore for textbooks and college supplies, the other half as an ice cream and candy store. Barney hired a series of student managers to manage the store and also had an apartment in the back of the building. They would open up the store from 6.30 till classes started at 8 and then come down and open it from noon to 6 in the afternoon. The man pictured here is Lawrence Endicott. While a K-State student, he operated the bookstore. He was well known for his excellent window displays. The college bookstore continued at this location for eight years. Guy Varney married a local school teacher named Grace O'Brien in 1904. As an established businessman, he decided to do the fashionable thing and took his new bride on an extended honeymoon in Europe. Well, as a special surprise, he had this beautiful home built for them while they were away. Unfortunately, although the house was completed when they returned, his young bride never did really like the house. So much for surprises. In 1916, the enrollment at K-State had increased to over 3,000 students. At that point, Guy Varney made a very significant business decision. He decided to buy the lot across the street at 623 North Manhattan Avenue and uh, build, custom build, his own bookstore. Well, his thinking was he wanted to do everything first class. The outside of the building included these beautiful black marble columns and trim, uh, big plate glass windows, and on the interior, everything was solid oak. Guy Varney grew up on a small farm in Pennsylvania. He was five feet nine inches tall and a bit stout. He wore a large handlebar mustache, which was in keeping with the air in which he lived. This is a bicycle that he and his family owned and made use of. In fact, there's a story here on file at the Riley County Historical Museum that he actually rode this all the way to Chicago. One of his family members later in life described Guy Varney as very religious, somewhat moody, but a great salesman. In fact, during the slow times of year, Guy would load up, he would travel to Oklahoma and load up a bicycle with Bibles and sell them door to door. Politically, Guy was a loyal member of the Progressive Bull Moose Party. In fact, when his son was born in 1906, he named him Theodore Roosevelt Varney. Guy Varney died unexpectedly in the fall of 1920. Left with two young children to support, his wife, Grace, took over management of the bookstore for the next 16 years. Ted turned 30, however. He informed his mother that he was taking over operations of the bookstore. And in 1936, she let him. Ted Varney was a good businessman, but he was also a great showman. He took on the name Crazy Ted to advertise his crazy high prices paid for used books at the end of the term. He also had green dye placed in the cement on the sidewalk surrounding the store and advertised University Bookstore, the store with the green sidewalks. Ted owned a small three-wheeled car called a Messerschmitt, and he would take the car up on campus, run it around in circles, and advertise through the PA system on the top, come to Varney's Bookstore. 
The 1940s brought about several changes at the bookstore. Ted Varney was called up from reserve status in the Army to serve during World War II in North Africa and Italy from 1940 to 45. He attained the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. After returning from World War II, Ted became active both in the bookstore and in community affairs. He was president of the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce in 1952 and on the board of directors for numerous civic organizations. Nationally, Mr. Varney served from 1961 to 63 on the Board of Trustees for the National Association of College Stores. Through the 1950s, the entire bookstore was housed in what is now the Trade Book Department upstairs. By the early 1960s, Varney's needed to expand. Ted made a decision to dig out a basement below and behind the store and in that he put all the textbooks and the general reading trade books and that's the area in which we now stand. I have of Ted Emery, I have of Ted Varney is when uh, I was first working here he would come up to my desk and he would stand there without saying a word and he would look me in the eye and say fight and then with that store torch that was lit in 1890 has passed through many hands over the years from Guy Varney and John Swingle to Grace Varney and to Ted Varney with Ted's death in 1992, the torch once again passed to business partner and longtime store employee, John Levine. Barney's expanded in 1975 by purchasing the drugstore property directly to the south of the store. In 1989, Barney's purchased additional land to the south and completed its largest expansion and remodeling. John continued expanding the business by creating the children's bookshop, both here in Aggieville and in Fleming Place in Topeka. Barney's also has a presence at the Manhattan Town Center through the attractive and high quality sportswear available at the K-State Place. In looking back over the history of Barney's bookstore, it's easy to see that Barney's is more than just a business. It's a K-State tradition. Hi, I'm John Levine. I'm owner and president of uh, Barney's bookstore and the manager. Uh, I know in this video you've seen some history of the bookstore and our other enterprises. Um, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you about Varney's Bookstore, my feelings perhaps. Uh, I find this a very exciting business. Uh, I find it very enjoyable. Um, the Part of the enjoyment is our, our function is an educational function. We help so many people and uh, uh, it just, I, I almost every day go home feeling good because I know we've, we've helped people and we've been part of the educational function of K-State and trying to do a good job. Uh, some of you might share that excitement. I hope that you can. I hope you share that enjoyment. Um, I know different people will do it to different degrees, but uh, I hope that uh, your experience here will be a, a very nice one.